Ben Fastos here, folks. Today, showing you this Cedar Summit EVAC compression dry sack. Hit it. This is a waterproof dry bag with a roll top closure, compression straps on the side, and an EVAC panel in the base that allows you to squeeze the air out, but it won't let the water in. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. These come in multiple sizes from five liters through to 35 liters and Cedar Summit do specify two different volumes for each because they're a compression sack. The first volume, this one being five liters, is the uncompressed volume and it goes down to about 1.7 liters when it's compressed. And the, the, each of them have those two different dimensions specified uh, on their packaging. So that's what that means if you see it. As with all Cedar Summit products, it's made with really high quality materials. So it's a 70D PU coated nylon fabric on the outside here and the top here as well. You've got nylon straps and durable buckles on the side here for the compression straps. Go a little bit more on the buckle on the top here shortly and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this fabric later. But this is a panel of Event fabric. Event is a waterproof breathable fabric, kind of like Gore-Tex, but it's, Event is a different brand or a different uh, name for a waterproof breathable fabric. This allows the air to come out and doesn't allow water in. I'll demonstrate that shortly, but first I just want to show you how the bag operates. So for compression straps, you've just got tri-glides on this side here so you can tighten them. And then on the other side, you've got a couple of buckles. So these just unclip like this. These are just regular buckles, these ones here. So you can fold this top open to reveal the roll top closure here. And this one here is actually a field maintainable buckle, a 15 millimeter buckle, and it's got these Phillips head screws in here, which means if this does happen to break, uh, if that does break, it renders your waterproof bag somewhat useless because you can't tighten up this roll top closure here. If it does break, you can just take these screws out of here and replace whichever side is broken and put your bag back into use. That doesn't feature on these clips on the outside here, but they're not quite as critical as this one here for keeping your gear dry. Now that secures a Hyperlon closure on top here. So this is a Hyperlon fabric here that seals against this, um, the, the outer fabric to try and minimize the water ingress inside. So they're not submergible bags. If you put them in water, eventually water will seep through here. But if you've got it sitting out in the rain, it won't, uh, it, it won't let water inside. The inside the bag is a nice white, bright white color and it's all seam sealed uh, with white seam seal as well. Makes it really easy to find the products inside there. Using it, you just close the top like this, roll it three times, one, two, three, fold it over to clip it together. And that's now created, as you can see, it's trapped a heap of air inside there, quite a tight seal. Still can't submerge it, but it does create quite a tight seal. Pull this uh, panel up over the top here and do these clips up to secure that panel on top of the dry sack. And then you can, to make more space in your backpack, tighten these straps here down. Now this fabric here doesn't breathe. This won't let any air through the fabric. It's just a waterproof fabric with a PU coating. This panel here breathes like a waterproof, uh, high quality waterproof jacket would. So it doesn't breathe as quick as a mesh, but if you squeeze this down, you, can, you can't really hear it. No, I can't really hear it, but it is squeezing the air out. A little bit might be coming out the top, but it's basically designed such that you don't have to worry about the air not escaping. You can squash this down. It will gradually squeeze all the air out of here. And this is a seam sealed, waterproof, breathable panel on the bottom that's letting the air out, but isn't gonna let the water back in. You also notice the oval shape of the bag here. All to see, all see to summit stuff sack range is, is like that. Bit hard to show you on a small bag like this, but it stops it rolling. Also allows you to stack multiple bags on top of each other and makes for a much more packable size or shape to go into a backpack rather than something really round. That's the Cedar Summit EVAC compression dry bag. Cedar Summit's dry bag range has been revamped. Uh, for 2023, the whole range has had a, a going over. This has been part of the range for a long time. I've got Cedar Summit stuff sacks that have lasted me many, many years. Uh, this is no exception, a good quality bag. You can check these out online at snowies.com.au where you'll find these and the whole Cedar Summit storage bag range at our lowest prices every day.